Hey, what's up, Eclipse? It's Daxter. Um, I was working on the engine, and I figured what I would do is I'd do a little video presentation showing off what I got so far for the engine. Um, if we look here, um, basically this is what I'm showing you guys. Um, the engine from scratch. Um, VisualBasic.net, 2010. <sighs> it's kind of complicated how I'm doing this, but it's at the same time, it's easier and it's faster. As you can see there are no controls. This will be the only form um, aside from all the editors. Um, you got your graphics mod, general mod, constants mod. Actually, you know what? These aren't even... I'm just gonna delete this because I haven't even used this yet and I have no need for it to be there. Everything you see here is what I got done. Uh, opening this um, is not an error. It's just there's no. It's a design module, but I only need it for code. Run right now. It's 100% bug and lag free. What I'm doing right now is I'm going to show you how the controls are used. If we um, take a look, um, let's see. Okay. Well, when you first when the form uh, first runs, it's going to initialize the client. Um, which is located in mod general. The sub um, is initializing client. It's going to draw the menu background. Um, it's going to set the status to starting up client. And it's going to draw a log. Basically, there is no loading time right now because there's really nothing to load. It's so fast. So if I were to run it like this, it would just look like that. That's what the loading bar, or if I got rid of drawing the login box that's what this would look like and it would scroll through whatever it's loading but there's nothing to load so it's just gonna get stuck there um, alright so why the fuck is this not deleting thank you okay anyway um, so yeah this is what I got so far um, now obviously if you look at it there's no flashing there's no lag when it loads up it's just you know right there and because of this, I, I did something really, um, really unique. And uh, hopefully this will be easier for coding and programming in the future. If we take a look at mod um, handle c controls, these are controls, custom controls, um, being wrapped inside, um, uh, what's it, the, SM, the SFML um, data. Uh, right now, I only have the graphics uh, portion in it. Um, right now, this is basically a clean version of being able to use SMFL, the graphics um, loader. So we got a fast graphics engine so far. And what this does is it basically allows you to create, like public class pick loading bar, that was a loading bar you saw. Pick login, that was a login box you saw. Loading status, that was the text on the loading bar that you saw. All these are controls, not necessarily, you, you can't drag them in, but um, you can programmatically add or remove them as seen right here. Um, dim declaring that the loading, st uh, loading bar is actually um, the new loading bar. Right here, you can set the percursencies or whatever you want, um, the location of where it's going to show up, the graphic. All graphics are loaded from their data file folder. Um, you can name them get you rechange their name, change their size, uh, everything. Um, as well as when you want to code them, here was a tricky part. When I was doing, working with like Crystal Shire Development Edition, you would have to program, actually, you know what, to be honest, I still don't even know how to program buttons and code them to do shit the way you want them to. So what I did was I did this. Handle controls. Um, I don't want the designer, I want the code. Where's the code? Uh, handle controls right here you would see pick login dot click um, if you wanted like mouse hover or mouse enter you would do like you would copy this and program it to be you know pick login mouse enter change mouse enter and when your mouse would hover over it it would do whatever code is there so it's like it, it's kinda cool the way this worked out you know you're able to program it the way you know the traditional Visual Basic style way without getting confused in SFMF, uh, SFML uh, programming language. So uh, it's pretty sweet. Um, I uh, 
kind of backtracked last night it was getting really sloppy with everything so I kind of converted the stuff worth saving into this project and this is all I got right now right now um, it's kind of it, it's nine o'clock and I got work in the morning um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to get as best as I can um, for what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna make the like panels draggable and all that good stuff um, Hopefully, sometime this week, I can actually get, like, um, a client, like, I can give out the client for you guys to just register on the server if I can get the registration system working and um, get maybe, like, the chat box in-game working. Uh, that's my goal for the week. Um, so, if you like the project, just keep in touch with it, and um, we'll see how it goes from there. Uh, thanks again. Uh, until then, thanks for watching. DaxterXX, signing off.